people that might have been following my channel for quite a while. Because we're back to a very, very early friend of ours that's on the table. And that's the Ganiac from Milos Popovic. And I think he's from Serbia. Uh, Milos Popovic uh, Custom Effects. MP Custom Effects. You can really only find him on Facebook. And um, you can really only order from there. And when it comes, it's wrapped in Serbian newspaper. This is as DIY garage as it gets. But it's also, and always has been, as good as it gets. The thing is, bent aluminum, it's not even like a chassis that he buys. It's just weird. But it's good weird. And many of you have bought Milos Popovic custom effects pedals. And you're all saying, yep, that is the real deal. Milos uses custom graphics on his pedals. And I want to thank my friend Harry Holden from Harry and the Guitar for supplying the custom graphic that Milos Popovic from MP Custom Effects put on this pedal. I'm not in charge what he puts on there. So he puts on whatever he wants to put on. And he put on, you know, this. Thank you, Milos. Thank you, Harry and the Guitar. That's just great. That's just so great. Did you guys know that Glenn is wrong? Actually, only about very, very few things. He's right about most things. But let's not tell him, because he'll never watch this video. So, MP Gasma Effects. The Ganiac used to be a pedal with a little switch, I think, where you can switch between a low gain and a high gain mode, and it had like a tone knob or bass and mid. I can't even remember. Where is my Ganiac? Right there, I can see the Heffy Kianiac. Wait. No, that doesn't even have a switch. That's just one gain mode. This is the Heffy Kianiac. Got Kiana and Phil and me on it. And, you know, gain tone volume, not even a high and low gain switch. So here we have the Ganiac Plus, which has a foot switch, which I back then recommended for switching between low and high gain, and three band EQ volume gain. It is probably one of the most flexible, I'm going to call it distortions, overdrive, I don't know, one of those pedals out there. And we're going to run it through a couple of amps with this, uh, this, Ibanez um, 1070 PBZ from the Premium Series. It's a pretty cool guitar. Look at the back of the neck there. Come on, isn't that pretty? So, uh, gonna start with a single chord in between thing. What are you hearing? You're hearing the Tone King cab? Actually, right now, you're hearing the Tone King. The Tone King with its own cab, but also pumped through the Ox with a 412 with cream backs in it. So let's turn this puppy on. Low gain, 
And that's really not too bad. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Turn on the Dark Sun by Seema Duncan for some ambient delay reverb stuff. It's always has been, and it is just one of the best drives out there. Let's go low gain, but the most gain. lead it is just equally it's just good um so we're gonna go into the eq when we go more gain so i'm gonna push high Low, noise level comes up but check Play with the EQ.
I'm just having fun. Okay, those mitts work. Treble is more subtle, but holy crap, are all the sounds not awesome? So we're gonna go through a couple of amps. Let's leave that setting the way it is. And um, so we're going to the Rev D20, which is the tiny little 20 watt thing under the Morgan right there. Clean like so. Go to the Marshall Studio Classics, I call it the Mini Plexi, right there above the green thing. <laughs> have the orange rocker verb on the clean channel. City Emilia, which is about 600 bucks. Achilles Argos, which is a vintagey kind of basement type amp. <laughs> doesn't want that much input apparently. <laughs> hmm. Not with the Argos. And let's go back to the Tone King Sky King. Round fat. The MP Custom Effects Gainiac Plus, when you get it, you don't have that guy on it. I think you could have that guy on it if you asked for it, but don't ask for it. Um, it's still one of the best 
overdrives, distortions that I know because it covers a huge range of styles without switches and sag knobs and frequency boosties and all that stuff. It is gain in volume with an EQ and a high and low foot switch. So you can actually use that. Um, I think it covers any style of distortion, if you ask me. Uh, maybe not the super low gain stuff. It is a lead sound killer. And um, it, you've heard it. I mean, what am I saying? This is an amazing pedal. It's even affordable. It's fully hand-built in Serbia. Contact Milos Popovic through MP Custom Effects on Facebook. Um, this video, by the way, has not been paid for, just in case you're wondering. And um, I want to thank Leslie. Links below. Animals at the end. Blow. 